At the end of this course, students should be able to understand the physics and the processes that go along with geologic hazards. But at the same time, they should be able to sort of understand how that impact on society can be both economic as well as, as dangerous in terms of fatalities and, and injuries. They should understand how different geologic disasters occur in different parts of the world and how they are impacting human populations in different ways, depending on the nation. The students will, will do sort of more traditional kinds of activities related to reading and, and learning facts and figures about geologic hazards, especially volcanoes, which is one of my favorite topics because that's what I do, I study volcanoes, but also earthquakes and meteor impacts. And at the same time, sort of side by side with the laboratory course, they'll be able to do some analysis on real data and assess those hazards from a quantitative point of view and, and thus sort of digest the topics uh, over a longer period of time. The goal is to sort of understand how these real science topics can be applied to the modern world. It's important because as the population grows globally, more and more places that are dangerous are being occupied full time or by tourists who are interested in, in seeing interesting parts of the world, but those interesting parts of the world can be dangerous. Thank you.